Hey there guys, so the final part of this course I just want to kind of show you guys just a few videos I've ranked um, over the last year or even less than that actually just to kind of show you that it's possible to rank videos on YouTube as a small YouTuber. So my channel at the point of making this course has around 1.2 thousand subscribers, so not many. It's a small channel and this is what the course is all about, small YouTubers. So this is an example of just me outranking people with more subscribers than me and more views than me overall and kind of showing you that it is actually possible. So first example is one I've shown you earlier in the course, simply optimizing 4,000 hours to minutes, which is quite a successful term for me. It's given me four and a half thousand views for this particular video, has been a good one to rank for and it's been something that's allowed me to get some traffic from YouTube search. So again, it shows it's possible. This is vidIQ, who are a big, big video, um, I guess, YouTube video tool, and they're actually below me for this particular term. So again, it shows that it, it is actually possible to outrank people on YouTube. And again, we'll go across to another one, um, Excel PPC. So if you do pay-per-click advertising, if you do any kind of digital, digital marketing, actually, you need to use Microsoft Excel because it's a tool that helps you analyze data. I simply optimized a video for Excel PPC and lo and behold, I'm top of the rankings for that particular term. And the people below me, for example, PPC Hero blog, these guys are huge. This is probably the biggest PPC blog in the world, bar maybe WordStream or a few other examples. But these guys are huge and I've actually managed to outrank them simply by creating videos in the right way and optimizing them in the right way as well. So again, another success story for ranking. I won't take too long on the rest of these. I think you get the idea by now. So people want to learn how to create a Google Ads account without a credit card. Again, I've done this now and I'm outranking people who are much bigger YouTubers than I am. Um, I mean, for example, these guys, I'm sure probably much, much bigger than I am. Let's have a look. Okay, these guys aren't a good example. But overall, you get the idea that this is a term that's given me a good amount of traffic to my channel. So I created it two months ago. It's had 341 views in that time, which for a small YouTuber for one video, again, is good. And it always brings me traffic every single month. So this is another good term. And the last couple are quite straightforward. So um, people are asking, can you use Google AdWords to get YouTube subscribers? Um, just as a side note, it's probably not the best idea. I did an experiment on this and made a video about it and it still brings traffic to my channel now and it's something I rank for as well, which is good. And finally, people often talk about how LinkedIn videos are growing in terms of the network LinkedIn really pushing and promoting their video, I guess, video product and people are comparing it to YouTube as a product for business. So I kind of did a review on those two platforms. So LinkedIn video versus YouTube, I rank top position for that particular term as well. So again, these aren't massively high volume terms that are gonna get me thousands of views a month. Um, maybe some of them do, but not a lot of them do. Um, but overall, it shows you that you can actually start generating views um, for your channel just by creating content in the right way, using the right optimization techniques I've shown you within this course and you can actually start generating traffic for your channel tomorrow if you wanted to, if you're struggling to get any views on your videos through YouTube search. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys again so much for taking this course.